Hello, students. Good evening. How are you? Hello. 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 How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I am very, very happy to be here today with all of you. I'm fine. And you? I am doing great. Thank God. Well, uh, welcome to this new class. I hope we have a fantastic uh, meeting. Okay, excellent. I have 16 students connected already. That is very, very nice. Remember that you can start talking and practicing while you wait for me to come, right? The idea is that you practice and that you take advantage of the moment that we are together. Okay, so everybody, uh, I am very happy to see your faces. Thank you for your cameras and thank you for being here with me. Okay. Let's see. Ana Lidia, how was your day? Was it good, bad, so so? Um, good. It was good. Rosa Esmeralda, how was your day? Good, bad, so so? Mm, good. It was good. Catherine, how was your day? I was uh, good. Thank you for asking. Thank, Thank you. you. It was very nice. Very, very busy. Mr. Oscar Guardado, how was your day? Good evening, teacher. It was fine. Hello, Ana Maria, how was your day? Fine. Fine, very good. Mr. Luis, how was your day? Fine, teacher. Excellent. Well, today we are going to study a, a little bit on questions and a yes, no questions with B right remember this is our class number four and uh, the agreements for the english class remember to uh, practice your english as much as possible right that it's something important if we are here if we are together try to practice as much as possible be respectful and polite with everybody attend your classes keep the cameras active all the time work on the educational platform it is important today i send you a picture of the progress that you should have on the platform so please try to follow it or if you want to advance more for me it's perfect right the idea of the program is that you advance as much as possible okay so that is the idea of this keep an active and cooperative activity in the facebook group okay so that is something that we need to keep in mind for every single class today we're going to practice wh questions with b and just no questions with b as well so that it's going to be the main part of the class remember to have your notebook there to have your notebook ready for you to take notes of the class if you want to take a screenshots of the class it's okay if you want to check the class tomorrow in YouTube again, you can do it. Remember that you have the lists there of uh, your private list in YouTube and you can check the class there again tomorrow. So I have a question. Did you do your homework? Yes. 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 Great. I know that I have very, very responsible students, right? I have very, very good students. Let's see. I am going to stop sharing for a second and we're going to check the homework. Right. Let me see. Any volunteer? You can raise your hand and tell me, teacher, I want to read my homework first. Okay. I have a hand up. Katherine, go ahead. Okay. Hello everybody, my name is Catherine Alejandra Enrique Chavarria, but you can call me Cathy or Alex. I have a 25 years old. I was born in July 1996, and I have uh, two little sisters. Their names are Darling and Aoli. I love the animal, but, but I prefer the kitty. 
And this moment I just to study English, but in the future I would like to work on conversion and other concentration. That is good. <laughs> Thank you for hearing me. Excellent, very good job. Claps and reactions, please. For Catherine, I think you can find the reactions there in the, in the platform, so you can send reactions there to uh, Catherine. Just remember when you say, I have 20 years old, you say, I am 20 years old. Okay, I am 20 years old. Excellent job. Uh, who is the next volunteer? Next volunteer to read the homework. Okay, I have Fatima Guadalupe, go ahead. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, honey. Um, my name is Fatima Guadalupe Hernandez Hernandez. Um, he worked as a domestic. I am uh, 28 years old. I have two children. Um, I live in Suchitoto. I hope to find a better job with this learning. Excellent. You will definitely do it, right? If you continue preparing, you are going to find a better job. When you say he works as a domestic, right? You are talking about you and you say, I, I work. I work as a domestic. And when you say, and I have two children, you say, I have two children because children is two never children. plural. Okay, only children. Okay, very good. Uh, oh, thank you. Excellent information. Reactions, please, for Fatima, everybody. Thank you very, very, very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The next one. Who is going to be the next one? If you don't have the, the hand up, you can tell me. Me, teacher. Oscar, go ahead. Hi, my first name is Oscar. My last name is Guardado. I am from El Salvador. I live in San Salvador. I am 42 years old. I have two children. One little girl, she is three years old. Her name is Paola. One boy, he is eight years old. His name is Oscar. Excellent. Very nice job. Reactions for Oscar. I don't have any corrections. Very good job. Thank you. Okay. Okay. And the next one, who wants to be the next one? You can show me your hand on camera or you can raise your hand. Ana Maria, go ahead. Uh, good evening. Hi. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, hello. Mm. Our last name, my last name is Anna, Anna. And, perdón, my first name uh -huh. is Anna. My last name is Hernandez Eras. And my and nationality is Salvadorian. Mm -hmm. And I am studying English. <laughs> and, um, I'm living in my mother and my sister. Okay. Just that. Yes, yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you, Ana Maria. Reactions for Ana Maria. Thank you very much. Uh, remember when you say my first name, right? You are referring to your name. And when you say I am a student English, you say I am and English student, right? I am an English student and I live in my mother and my sister. You say I live with, I live with my mother and my sister, okay? Excellent job. I need one more volunteer. If not, it will be finger cratic. Si no va a ser dedo cratic, vamos a ver. <laughs> Paola, go ahead. Paola and Rocio, good. Um, good evening, teacher. Good evening, honey. My name is Michelle Abrego, but everyone calls me Michi. And I'm from El Salvador. I'm a dentistry student at the University of El Salvador. And also, I'm, a, I'm an only child, and I, I am 20 years old. 
Thank you very much. Great job. I don't have any correction to make. That was a very, very good job. Thank you. Thank you very much. Rocio, go ahead. I am Rocio Hernandez. I'm a lawyer. I live in Planes de Renderos. Uh, my husband is Balmore. His occupation is IT engineer. Uh, I have two children. Their names is Adriana and Rodrigo. Okay. When you say their names is, you say their names are because you are referring to something plural, okay? Their names are. And when you say I have a two children, say I have two children, only that, okay? Two children, no S. And you say my husband, the pronunciation is husband. And husband. for the husband, yes. And for the rest, it was very, very nice. Santos, go ahead. Okay, my name is Santos Martinez. I'm from El Salvador. I'm from Salvador. My wife is a, is a teacher. Her name is Mary. My son is a university student. His name is Mike. My pet is a dog. Its name is Kimba. My parents live in Sonsonate City. I work paying computers. That's hey, all. Very nice job. Excellent job, Santos. Very nice. A paragraph, I don't have any, any comment uh, for that, right? Very nice job. Excellent, right? Reactions for Santos, very good. So we're going to move on the topic for today. Uh, thank you, thank you very much for sharing, right? It is very important that you do your homework and that you develop the topics that we study every single day. It is very good. So today I have... Um, well, we're going to study a little bit about WH questions, right? In the WH questions, it is very common when you um, add these type of words at the beginning of the sentence, right? When you have like what, where, how, who, and when, right? And I think that you have seen this information in the platform. So I wanted to reinforce a little bit on this one. So. What is the meaning in this case? What is the meaning of what? It's when you ask for information about something, right? When you ask for information about something. Like for example, when you say, what is your name? What is your age, right? What is your name? What is your age? In this case, uh, the word where, it refers to a place. When you are asking for a place like, where is El Salvador? Where are you right now? The answers that you are going to have for these questions are places, okay? If I tell you right now, and you can open your microphone and tell me, where are you right now? What will be your answer? Where are you right now? I am in my house. My house. I am in my house, you say. <clears throat> I am in my house. And if I tell you, where is your house? It's in San Salvador. It's in San Salvador, right? It's in San Salvador. It's in Santa Ana. It's in San Miguel. It's in, I don't know, in Aguachapan, right? Where? <clears throat> where is El Salvador? It's in Central America. It's Central in America. Central America. Fantastic. It's in Central America. So, in the next, in the next one, we're going to continue. Uh, here. Uh, remember to uh, use your microphone and keep it silent just uh, for us to avoid the interruptions, okay? So uh, the question how, with the question how, you are asking for a manner or a way, a way to do something, right? How are you? And you are going to tell me, I am fine, I am good, I am okay, I am excellent, right? How are your classes, right? If I ask you, how are your classes? And you can tell me, hey, my classes are nice, my classes are interesting, my classes are fantastic, right? That's uh, the answer because you are looking for a manner, right? You are looking for a manner in this case. 
And for the next one, here, it says, a who, the word who. You are asking for a person, right? In the word who, you are asking for a person. Who is she? Who is the girl in black? Ah, that's my teacher, you say. Hey, who is that? Who is that boy? Let me see. I am going to choose one example from the class. Uh, let me see. I want to see the cameras. Ah, who is the lady with the glasses? Uh-huh. Everybody, I am asking you a question. Who is the lady the with the glasses? Claude Lasso. Uh -huh. it's, you were checking on all the cameras, right? Claudia. It's Claudia. <laughs> it's Claudia, right? Okay, good. Let me see. Let me see another question. Who is the lady with the butterfly at the back? Uh -huh. Who is the lady with the butterfly? It's Rosa Esmeralda. It's Nady. It's Nady. It's Nady, right? She has a butterfly at the back. Do you see it in the in the window? Okay. Who is the boy in the blue shirt? Who is the boy with the blue shirt? It's Jaime. He's, he's William. It's William, Hi. right? William and Jaime. They have blue shirts. Who is the boy watching TV? He's like, no, teacher, no, no, I am not watching. <laughs> Walter. <laughs> Walter Morag. Ah, we caught Walter there. Hello, Walter. <laughs> who is the boy? Who is the boy with the white hat? Who is the boy with the white hat? Or the white Renee. the white cap. Aha, uh -huh. it's Rene, uh -huh. right? It's Rene. It's Rene. It's, Rene. Rene. it's me, you see. Rene. <laughs> it's me. Hey, who is the lady from Inglés Corporativo in black? It's the teacher. It's the teacher, it's the teacher. you say. It's the teacher. So that is the use of who when you are looking for a person, right? And the last one, when you use when, you are referring to a time. a time. You are asking for a time. And I can ask you the question, when is your birthday? When is your birthday? My birthday is 20 November. My no, birthday no, is January in November 20. Okay, I am going to go. I am going to try to go uh, over this question. And it is very important the pronunciation. You say birthday. Birthday. Okay, birthday. please. Birthday. Okay, don't go to the world saying birthday. Okay. No anden por el mundo cantando happy birthday to you. Okay, it's birthday. 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 So in the next celebration, you are going to say happy birthday, birthday. to you. To okay, birthday. happy birthday, happy birthday. Okay, ya ninguno de mis estudiantes va a decir happy birthday to you. No, please, no, 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 no. Okay, no, you say happy birthday, birthday. And for sure, you are going to answer the question, when is your birthday? And you say, my birthday is on, and then you May. tell me the day. Ciro, tell me, when is your birthday? My birthday is January of six. January? Oh, sit. What was it? Six. Ah, zero six. six. Okay. Yeah. In this case, you say uh, January six, just like that. January okay. six. Okay, good. All right. Claudia Lasso, when is your birthday? My birthday uh, is uh, 16, uh, February 16th. 
February 16. Rosa mm -hmm. Esmeralda, tell me. My birthday. When is your birthday? Um, when is your birthday? 70. Um, on December? December 23. No, 70. Ah, 17. I said, hey, almost Christmas. I said, good. Rosa Maria, when is your birthday? My birthday is January 19. January 19. Ana Maria, when is your birthday? My birthday is January 18. January 18th. Good. What is the question? For everybody. When is your birthday? When is your birthday? You know, my birthday, it's the most Salvadorian and independent day of the year. When is September my birthday? 15. September 15. September 15, right? My birthday is on September 15. I am a very independent lady. Yes. <laughs> Only for the birthday. So what is for general information? Where is for a place? How is for a manner? Who is for a person? And when is for a time? Okay, so you have to remember this when you use the different WH questions. I have here a couple of examples in WH questions with B, and you have the answers. And it says, what's your name? My name is Beth, right? Where is your friend? He is in class. Whose son he? She is my classmate. And you have other questions that are with more information. What are your classmates like? Classmates are compañeros de clase, right? Workmates are compañeros de trabajo, right? Workmates, classmates. Where are you and Lisa from? We are from Brazil. Brazil. And how are your classes? They are really interesting. So give me the answer. What's your name? My name is Alejandro. Excellent. Very good job. I was waiting for people to say my name is Beth. <laughs> but you are not Beth. Okay. Where is your friend? He is in class. He is in class, right? He is in class right now. Who is Natalie de Flores? She's a teacher. She's, she's my teacher. You see. She's, she's my, my teacher. teacher. Es mi teacher. Es mi. Who's my? <laughs> it's my teacher. Okay. What are your classmates like? They are very nice. They are yes. very nice. Yes. They are very intelligent, right? They mm. are very good. Where are Santos and Rosemary from? We are from El Salvador. We are, we are from, from El Salvador. Salvador. We are from Brazil, they say. <laughs> we are from Brazil, from, from neighborhood Brazil, right? <laughs> How are your classes? They are really They're very interesting. They are really interesting. They are very fun, right? They are very entertaining. So that's pretty awesome. Excellent. So I have here some other examples. And in these ones, we need to be very careful on what are we using, okay? Okay. So we need to be very careful on what are we using in uh, the answer, because that is going to give you the idea of what you are going to use in the question, right? In the first one, you have, oh, that is Miss West. It's a lady, right? It's a person. So in the question you need, who is that? Because you are looking for a person. And on the answer, you have for sure the definition of what you are going to use. What is the answer for number two? Where what? is she from? What, where is she from? what is she from? Where is she from? Where okay. Is she from? Uh, remember, the question was, 
what are we talking about in the answer for number two? Where? Aha, we are talking about a place. We are talking about a place. And for sure, in the question, we are going to have where. And remember that after the WH word, we need the verb to be. So you say, where is she from? Where is she from? Excellent. So the next one. In number three, what do you have there? What is her, what is her what first is name? Her what first name? is what her first is name. her first name? Because you are using general information, right? In this case, Celia, it's a name. Good. What about number four? Who is the two student of the who are the two students? Exactly, because you are over you are talking there. about a person, right? Who are the two students over there? Their names are uh, Jeremy and Karen. Karen. Very good job. The next one, they are from Vancouver, Canada. Where, where, where are, are they from? Where, where, are, they from? where, where are they from? Are they because from? you are talking about a place, a place. right? Uh, a place. And yeah. the last one, they are shy, but very friendly. Who is they like? Mm. What are How their like? How they I'm like? I'm going to go back to, to this one. <laughs> what they like? Uh, How? Aha! Because how it's to get information about a manner, right? And in this case, it's how are they like? like. They are how shy, are they like? but very friendly. Okay? They are shy, but very friendly. So, in the first one, we have where, right? Remember that at the beginning of the sentence, as you are using a, where is she an, from? A, a specific word, you have where and capital letter at the beginning. Okay, tenemos que escribir la mayúscula al principio porque es el principio de la pregunta. The next one, so you have what is. Is it correct the the first one? No. Aha, what is missing? Is. Is exactly. the, the verb to be, the verb to be. Very good job. Remember that after the WH, is. you have to write the, the verb to be. Where is she from? What is her first name? Number four? Who, Who are? are? Who are? Who are? Good, very good. The next one? Where is we have they. Where are they from? Aha, uh -huh. where are they from? Because you have they, right? They. And in the last one? Oh. Who Ooh. is they like? How? How, how are? How are they like? How are they like? How are, right? Remember? How are? How are they like? They are shy, but very friendly, right? So, uh, let me see. I need a volunteer to help me with question number two. Catherine, go ahead. Re read it. Where is she from? She is from Miami. Very good. Number three, who is going to read it? I have another volunteer with the hand up. Alicia, number three. What is her first name? Is Celia. Very nice, excellent job. Fatima, number four. Uh, who are the two students over there? Their names are Jeremy and Karen. Excellent job, Jaime, number five. Where are they from? They're from Vancouver, Canada. Excellent, fantastic. Rose, Rosemary, number six. How are they like? They are shy, but very friendly. Good. Paola, read number one. Who's that? Oh, that's Miss West. Excellent. 
Eh, Rosa Esmeralda, read number two. What is her fear name? It's Celia. Excellent job. Thank you, volunteers. You know, something that I really love about this group is that when I ask for one volunteer, I have like seven, and that's amazing. <laughs> Excellent job. Okay, very good. So let's go with the next one. Do you have any question about the WH questions so far? It's all clear? It's all clear. Jaime, tell me, you have your hand up. Jaime, do you have a question? Okay, so let's go with the next one. I have a little conversation here on which we're going to practice a little bit on the next type of questions, right? We had the first type of questions that was WH questions with be. Remember the WH word, the verb to be, and the complement. What is your name? Who is that girl? Right? That is the form that we use. But in this one, we are going to make a little introduction for the yes no questions. What is the difference between the WH questions and the yes no questions? That in the WH questions, you get a specific information, okay? In the WH questions, you get a specific things. Where do you live? I live in San Salvador. How is your class? It is very interesting. It is different if I tell you, uh, are you in classes? Yes, I am in classes. You just give me just no answers, right? And for the WH questions, you get specific information. And that is the main difference. Okay, for this one, I have a conversation. And we're going to practice it together. Okay, we have Sanhi and David. On the conversation, it says, Hey, David, how is it going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So are your classes interesting this semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry? Are you and Beth in the same class? No, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I am on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure. Let's go. Any question in pronunciation or meaning? What is the, the pronunciation about the quiz me? I don't know. Chemistry. 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 Chemistry is uh, química, right? Chemistry. Any other question in pronunciation? How how to use um, pronunciation? Um, semester. Semester. Yeah, it's like that. Semester. Semester. Good. Any other one? Okay, we have semester. Cafeteria. 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 Okay. Cafeteria. Any other one? Any other question? And how do you say pretty? Pretty good. Mm -hmm. You say pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. good. Bastante bien, right? Pretty, pretty good. good. In this case, pretty is not bonita, right? Bonita bien, you say. No. In this case, it's pretty good means bastante bien. Right? So like, hey, it's pretty good, right? It's, it's doing pretty good. That's the meaning of pretty in this case, right? Pretty good. Pronunciation teacher de la que continúa es so. So, yes. So. 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 And in this one, you say, listen. Listen. It's like uh, in Spanish, we have a very common one, and we say, mira. Right? But in this one, it's like, listen. 
eh, oíme, escúchame, right? I am on my way to the cafeteria now. Voy para la cafetería. I am on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure, sure, sure. sure. Let's go. Sure, let's go. Okay, let's practice the conversation. It says, hey, David, how is it going? Hey, David. Hey, David. How is it going? going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Fine. 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 How are you? How are you? How are you? Pretty good. Pretty, Pretty good. good. Pretty good. So, are your classes so. interesting this semester? So, are your classes interesting this semester? So, are your classes interesting this semester? So, are your classes interesting this semester? Yes, they are. Yes, yes they, they are. are. I really love chemistry. I really love chemistry. Chemistry? Yeah. Chemistry. Chemistry. Are you, chemistry. At, are you chemistry. in bed in the same class? Are, are, are you in, in, bed in, bed in the same class? class? No, we aren't. No, we, no, we aren't. aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. My class is in the morning. Class in the afternoon. Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria. Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria. No. 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 Are you free? Are you free? Are you free? Are you free? Let's go. Okay, so from all the questions that you have in the conversation, what can you tell me that are WH questions? Um, how is it going? How is how it going? Is going? Uh -huh. How are you? How are you? How are you? How? Are you on um, it? Are your classes oh. interesting? No, WH question. WH question. Uh, That's it. Only that. Only um, those. Uh, what are, are you free? What are you free? No questions. Are you free? Are no. your classes interesting? This is a just no question, right? Mm -hmm. This is a just no question because you say, yes, they are. Right? On the answer, you have yes or no. Yes, they are. Do you are have any you other yes no question? Are you in bed in the same are class? You... No, we aren't, right? Uh, any other question? Yes, no question? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you free? Ah, are, are you free? free? Are you free? Are you free? <laughs> and you say sure. And in this case, sure, it means yes. Yes. Right, sure means yes. So that's the difference, right? When you say, how is it going? As you can see here, you get extra information and it says, fine, thanks, right? You don't get yes, no as an answer. How are you? Pretty good, right? And you have extra information on the answers. So that is the main difference between the just no questions and the WH questions, okay? So, okay. Uh, this is basically what I am going to show you here in the exercise. In the exercise, I have uh, some specific questions. Like, uh, for example, are you free? You can say, yes, I am, or no, no I, I am not, not no, right? Not. Yes, I am, that it's affirmative, or no, I am not, that it's, sorry, it's going to be negative, right? No, I am not. And if you have, for example, is David yes. from Mexico? You can say, yes, yes he is, he, or no, no, he's not. No, he's not. No, he no, isn't, he right? Is. You have the two forms. No, comma, he is not, period, or no, comma, he isn't, period. Okay? Yes. Recordemos siempre la mayúscula al principio y el punto al final. It's very important for the punctuation. Uh, the next one, you have, is Beth class in the morning? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. 
and you use it uh, because it, it's it, the class, yeah. right? And you say, no, it uh, isn't it, or it, no, it is, it is not. not. Very good job. And the next one, are you and Beth in the same class? You say, yes, yes we, we, are. Are. we are. We are. Or, no, we are not. No, we aren't. No, we aren't. Excellent. Are your classes interesting? Yes, they are. Yes, they, yes, are. they are. They are. No, they, or, are. they, no, are. they are they not. Are. They are. No, they aren't. Excellent. So, this is mainly the idea. When the question begins with are or is or am, in this case, it suggests no question and you are going to answer with yes or no. If you have, uh, for example, okay, I am going to, I am going to go back to here. If you have questions with a WH, right? Remember that these are information questions and you are going to give extra details, right? That is the main difference between the two of them. So here, I have important things that you have to remember, right? That R, it is going to be used with we, you and they, or a specific names, right? That it says, are we friends? Are you students? Are they from San Marcos? Are Mary and John married? Are is going to be with we, you, they, or with the specific plurals, right? Keep it in mind, remember it. And is is for he, she, it, or a specific people my mother, my father, my sister, my husband, my boyfriend, anything, okay? Right, and then you complement it. The questions that I have here as an example, are we friends? Are you students? Are they from San Marcos? Are Mary and John married? Is he your father? Is she your mother? Is it your dog? Is my mother happy? Is my father a mechanic? Am I in class, right? In this case, am I in class? Yes, I am. Now that you have these examples right here, I need you to write two examples in your notebook. And when you have them ready, I need you to tell me the sentences that you wrote uh, on the microphone, okay? So please, I need you to create two examples of just no questions right now. Two examples of just no questions. I have some examples here presented, but I need you to create original examples. Two sentences. Or if you can just mention them just like that, you can open your microphone and give me two examples. But I would like you to write them on your notebook. Two examples. Maybe one with is or one with R. For example, are we co-worker? Are we co-workers? Excellent example. Mm -hmm. Okay, Catherine, you have your hand up. For example, is your friend or is he wife? Is she wife? Wife? Is she? Is she your, your wife? wife? Is she your wife. wife? Is she your wife? Exactly. Is she your wife? Yes, she is. You say. Is she your sister? Is she your sister? Excellent, Alicia. Give me your example. Are they students? Are they students? Very good. Is she happy? Is she happy? Excellent example. Very good. Is she your, your father? Is she your father or is he? He. Is he yeah. your father? Good. Because it's a man, right? Remember Are that. Are you married? Are you married? Yes, I am. You say. Is he your father? Is he your father? Good example. No, he's not. No, he's not. Not he's not. Is Are they grandparents? A mechanic. 
are they your grandparents? Is he a mechanic? Very good. Paola, Michelle, give me your examples. Maybe, are you there? Are you there? Very good. Teacher. Yes? Se puede decir, is she a single? Is she single? Yeah. Singa. Yes, sing a. Is she single? Está soltera, right? Is she single? Good. What else? More examples, more examples. Are, are you a accountant? Are you an accountant? Are you I'm an accountant? Good. Are am you... I in the bathroom? <laughs> am I in the bathroom? I don't know. I hope you are not. <laughs> <laughs> Am I in the bathroom? Good example, good example. Are they happy? Are they happy? Good, very nice. Are we in Washington? No, we are. We are in? In El Salvador, right? We are in El Salvador. Walter, what are your examples? Um. Is it uh, your bed? Is it your bed? Good. And with R? Is it in my computer? Is it my computer? computer? Very good job. Oscar Guardado, what are your examples? Is she, no, is it your dog? Is it your dog? It Excellent. Your dog. Luis Monzon, what is, oh, sorry, go ahead, the next one. No, 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 no. <laughs> Luis Monzon, what are your examples? Are they, are they your children? Are they your children? Good, very nice. Cloud, are, uh -huh. and R? Are, are you happy of living in El Salvador? I am very happy of living here in this country because I have the opportunity to work with you. And that is very nice. Let me see. Ana Maria, what are your examples? Are you family? Are you my family? Good. Are Selena and Rosa sisters? Are Selena and Rosa sisters? Great example. Rene Murillo, what is your example? Is he your husband? Is he your husband? Good, very good. Sandra Maritza. Am I in house? Am I in my house, right? Am I in my house? Jaime. Are you married? Yes, I am. <laughs> Here, are you married? Good question, very good question. That is uh, a very crucial question. Let me see, Santos, what are your examples? Mr. Santos. Oscar Lopez is writing also. Tell me, what are your examples, Oscar? And then Mr. Santos. Am I in job? Am I in my job, right? Am I in my job? Am I in my job? Excellent. Mr. Santos, do you have your examples? Where are you? <laughs> Fatima Guadalupe, can you give me another example? Are they from Santa Ana? Are they from Santa Ana? Very nice job. Thank you everybody for your examples and for volunteering, okay? So, we have the last exercise of the night. And in this case, 
we have uh, to complete the, converse, the conversations with yes, no forms, is or are, okay? We are going to complete it with yes or no forms, is, are, okay? And the short answers, yes, she is, no, she isn't, and to complement the questions or the sentences, okay? So what we are going to do right now, I am going to give you some minutes for you to analyze it. And I need you to write the answers of the exercise on the chat. So on the chat, you are going to write the number of the exercise. For example, A1, A2, A3, A4, and you write the answer on the chat. Or B1, B2, B3, or B4. So the answers are not going to be on the microphone. They are going to be on the chat. Okay, on the chat of the platform, I need you to send me one answer. I need you to send me one answer of the exercises. Okay, is it clear? Estamos claros? Yes. Yes. yes Fantastic. So yes. let's use the chat. Let's use the chat. And I need you to send me one answer. Before sending me the answer, specify the number of the exercise. The exercise can be, for example, A1, A2, A3, A4, or B1, B2, B3, or B4. So if you tell me, for example, B1, you are going to write the answer later, okay? Uh, B1 will be like, are you from the United States? And you say, no, I am not from the United States. I am from El Salvador. Okay, that's what you are going to write on the answer. So I am going to give you some minutes for you to work on this and send me the answers on the chat. I am going to be reading you, okay? Oscar, you have your hand up. Do you have a question? Okay, <clears throat> it's okay. Perfect. So. Let's work on this. Let's work, let's work, let's work. Fantastic, we have the answers. Very good, very good. I am reading your answers. Very good, I am receiving more answers, that's great. Excellent job, I am receiving more answers. Good, 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 good. I am receiving more answers. That's nice. We are going to check in a moment. Thank you, are you and Monique? Very good. Let's 
So I have a, a couple of answers already in the chat. Thank you very much for your efficient work. Okay, so I have the first ones and we're going to check on the answers. And uh, if you send the answer, so please check that if it is okay, if it's correct or not. The first one says, is Mrs. Gray from the United States? And you say, yes, she? She is. Yes, yes she, she is. is. And you have a period, and then you have to complement the sentence. Yes, she is. So? Yes. She is from Chicago. She is from Chicago, right? So in this case, as you have to complement two forms of the questions, you say, yes, she, yes, she is, right? In this case, I'm going to make it a small case here. Yes, she is. And for the next one you have here, she is, she is from, from Chicago. She is from Chicago, right? She is from Chicago. And there you have the two forms of the questions. For number two, uh, you have, you are talking about English class. And for sure, uh, are you going to use is or are? Uh, is, 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 ah, you are is, going to say is. is English class at 10? No, it isn't, isn't right? So you are going to say, no, it isn't. No, it isn't. And what is the answer it, of this one? It is. It is at 11. 11. Very good it job. At 11. So you say, it is at 11. It is at 11. Very nice. Number three? R. Uh, R, right? You have to use R because uh, you are talking about plurals, right? Yeah. So you say, are you and Monique from France? Yes, we? Uh, yes, uh, we are. Yes, yeah. we are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are, right? And if we are talking about two people, you say, yes, we, we are. From Paris. They are from Paris. If you yeah. are, if you are included, are you and Monique? Yes. Where? We are. We are. Yes, we are, right? We are from Paris. And number four? Uh, you are talking about Mr. Uh, and Mrs. Tavares. Are Mr. Uh, and Mrs. Tavares uh, American? Are Mr. and Mrs. Tavares American? Yeah, and no, they? They are. Um, no, they aren't or no, they are not, right? Uh, what are they from? They, they are they are Brazilian, right? They are Brazilian. Fantastic. So if you send the answer for the question, check that it is correct, check that it is complete, and make the necessary corrections. Now for the next ones, uh, we're going to ask this type of questions and if you tell me no, you have to give me the correct information. Are you from the United States? No, I, no, I, no, no, I'm not. no, I'm not. no, no, I'm not. no, I'm not. So you say, no, I am not, right? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I am not, right? If you tell me, no, I am not, I am, I am not from the United States. No, I am not from there. No, I am not from the United States, right? So you can have a complete answer here. No, I am not from the United States. Is your teacher from Canada? Yes. No, she is not. No, she is not. No, she is not. She is more Salvadorian. She's more Salvadorian than the pupusas. But you can yeah. say, yes, she is. <laughs> yes, she is. She's from Canada. <laughs> no, she's not. She's from Santa Ana. 
Is your English class in the morning? No. No. So you say no, it is not, right? It is not. No. It is not. It is not. You can say it is at it is at night. Night. It is at night. Are you and your best friend the same age? You can say yes. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are the same age. Are you and your friend? Same age, teacher. Same age is in the same year. For example, if I am if I am 30 years old, okay, como la edad que tengo right now, I am 30 years old. So my friend, it's 30 years old too, <laughs> right? Hey, you laugh about it. Go on. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, no, I am 36. Very, very proud of my age. I am 36. Oh, me too. So, uh, are your students the same age as you are? Yeah, most of them, I am going to say. Okay, my dear students, that was the practice for today. I hope everything is clear and everything was answered in the best way. So, you have the chance to advance a little bit more on your platform. And it will be my pleasure to see you in the next class. Okay. Have a beautiful okay. night. And I am going to see you tomorrow at the same time in the same channel, in the same place. Have a beautiful, uh, <laughs> well, have a beautiful night's sleep. And I am going to see you tomorrow. Have a great okay. night. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care. Good night. Thank you for participating. Bye bye.